Hi guys and thanks so much for joining me. My name is Kat and on this channel we are talking about all things tech and also how to make money online because who doesn't want to make money online and let me tell you there are tens of thousands of different ways you can actually make money online without spending any money at all so if this is something which interests you then keep following this channel and you will see videos being uploaded and hopefully i can teach you a thing or two about how to make money online but in today's video what i want to do with you is I want to show you how you can recover all the data that you lost on your phone. So for example, I'll give you one tiny example here. I had an Honor 20, which was an amazing, amazing, brilliant phone that I've had for more than three years. An accident happened with it and my five-year-old son dropped the phone in the toilet. Now at first. I took the phone for repair. This phone was actually repaired and it worked for about six months. And then all of a sudden it stopped working completely. So me, my life is on this phone. And when I mean my life is on this phone, literally because I use a phone for my online businesses. I use social media accounts, I use TikTok, I use Instagram, I use Facebook. I even use the YouTube studio app on the phone I take photos on the phone, I take videos on the phone and so my phone was full of data, not to mention messages, very important messages, very important phone numbers and all of these things were out of reach to me when this phone stopped working completely. Sadly, I took it again for repair but because it already had water damage on it, they couldn't even read anything off of the phone and so I had to buy a new phone. In buying a new phone, which is actually another Honor phone because I'm just simply in love with them. Their performance, their capabilities, every single thing, everything that I need in a phone, Honor has it. It ticks all my boxes. So I went ahead and I purchased the Honor 50 phone, which I just received a bit earlier. It's still backing up my data. and it's restoring my data actually not backing up my data but we'll get there in a second i also did a video on uh, the full specs of the honor 50 so if you want to see what the full specs of the honor 50s are just uh, click the link in the description down below it will probably be somewhere on the screen as well but let's keep it in this video the focus on how you can recover your data from a phone from one Android phone to another Android phone, be it that it's a damaged phone like mine, like mine, which I can't access anything off of it, or you are simply just upgrading your phone, or you are using, a, you decided that you want to go for another brand of phone, and so you want to keep everything that you already have on your old phone onto the new phone. So, the easiest way to do is but this, I, I have to tell you guys, this method works only if you use a cloud account which has backup capabilities such as Google Drive. So me, when I, uh, when I realized that my phone stopped working, I panicked. I really did because I thought that I have lost every everything on my phone so i kept on googling and looking about and searching around and i kept on coming across all these kind of different softwares that you need to download on your computer and uh, you know you can recover your data in that way without uh, accessing the phone and then it turned out that uh, actually yes you do need to access the phone as well which physically for me was impossible because the phone just stopped working completely there was absolutely nothing i could have done including the stuff from the for, from the phone repair shop they couldn't read anything off of the phone so what i realized was that i actually had my gmail account my google account logged on to my old phone which got damaged and that's how i saved everything everything that i had on this damaged phone so everything was saved on there so this is what I want to show you today, but for this to work for you, you need to make sure that you are using some kind, some kind of a cloud account, storage and backup account. I'm going to go with the example of Google account because that's the one that I use and uh, I know best. 
so keep in mind that if you are doing this for the first time on your new phone you will need to register for a gmail account i can make a video on how to register for a gmail account on a different occasion and you need to be signed in on your phone with google with the google account the google email address and the google drive as well and you need to make sure that your google is backing up everything on your phone if if your google is not backing up anything on the phone then this method is not going to work for you so in today's video i'm going to talk about how to recover your data from your google backup account okay so the easiest way would be by using the official Google Backup and Sync. This method is uh, more or less just the same on every single Android phone. There will be a bit of different things, you know, because there are different phones. So different phones have different settings, but technically it's exactly the same process, no matter of the Android phone. If you don't remember, if you backed up your previous phone or you didn't all you need to do is just to go into your google account so let's go on to the google account so let's type in here google drive and then you need to sign in keep in mind you already need to have an account so you sign in onto your google drive and then you go into storage you click on it and in the storage on the right hand side of the screen you will see backups here backups you click on backups and as you can see i have two backups already so this will be your backup this is a very old backup of mine from galaxy s5 but the latest one was updated uh, today because i still use samsung galaxy s5 as my spare phone whilst i got the new phone and if you click on this it will show you how many apps you have saved you have backed up six, 17 apps and the uh, and uh, six kilobytes in the last backup was at uh, 240 in the afternoon let's close this one and then you have the second one here well i have the second one here huawei honor 20 backup and this is the one which interests me the most because this backup was done exactly one day before my phone actually broke down so i had every single thing updated in that backup which was amazing and i will just double click on this one and as you can see there are 39 apps left i had 100 apps on uh, on the backup but like i said my phone is uh, recovering the data now so as you can see is installed 50 out of 110 apps so you can see that i had on this one 110 apps on the backup and now the new phone is still working on installing everything 53 out of uh, 110 and then it shows all the calls so uh, what you can back up with google drive is your apps the apps you had uh, you have on your phone your call history which is really really useful then also your device settings and sms messages and also if you had whatsapp on the old phone and if you chose backup for whatsapp then you will also have whatsapp messages and whatsapp logs on here on the backup so keep in mind that this is my own google account so it will not show you the same devices that it shows me i'm just showing you to double check just in case you might have a backup there which maybe you forgot about or you didn't realize it was backing up before you actually say that you've lost everything so this is how you can actually check if you have the backup on there now if you if you found your backup brilliant then all you need to do is to when you have your new phone you go on your phone and you know when you set up your phone i can't show you on my phone right now because i've already finished setting it up but when you switch the phone on for the first time you have to go through the wizard and the setup process now each phone is different but the process is still technically the same so although it might be a bit of a difference with different brands and different phones and the operating systems technically the process is still the same so you go through the initial setup and then the phone is going to ask you if you have any backup that you want to restore at that point if you have a backup that you want to restore it's going to ask you for the account details so you need to log in with your email address where you know that your backup is 
stored in and also with your password and then you accept everything that's asking you on the phone and then it will start to back up and to restore all the data from your backup stored in your cloud account and also if you have um, if you've changed your phone and you already have another phone which is still working and you are trying to bring the backup from your previous phone onto your new phone there is another way that you can do that uh, without uh, going through the setup process like you would when you have a new phone and i think like i said i'm using honor 50 now to tell you the information but technically all of the phones have the same process or a similar one maybe some names names might be different but still the process is the same so you would go into settings on your phone you see like i have here settings and let's press on you would have here somewhere like i said depending on your phone backup and restore like i have here backup and restore in a system and updates so that's uh, where you you would be able to get uh, the the stored backup from your google drive and the same way works if you don't have a backup and you want to backup all your data then you would backup to google for example like i have here i know that a lot of people are saying and i've actually looked up uh, this online and i did a bit of research and i know that a lot of people are saying that if you change the phone brand that you used or the phone model that you used and uh, you want to recover the backup from your google drive from a different model phone model then it's not going to work however it does work there might be some apps which are specific to that kind of phone model however most of the times the backup does work and uh, it really restores everything unless like i said it specifically the app is specifically for that uh, phone model and also like i said with whatsapp is very tricky because i had whatsapp as well on uh, my previous phone but i chose not to back up my history my whatsapp history and so there is absolutely no way that i can recover that however just a piece of advice if you do want to keep um, a record of everything that you have in whatsapp you will need to make sure that you put the option as to on for backing up uh, whatsapp that's from the whatsapp app itself so that needs to be done separately and then if it is backed up it will still go on your cloud account such as google drive for example and then again you will you would uh, recover that as well in the backup and recovery time that you have on your phone whilst is you know installing apps and recovering everything from the backup so i think that i managed to cover everything that i wanted to say in this video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and help this channel out and i will be seeing you in the next video for now take care and stay safe bye